Outside, it's a freezing Arctic wasteland, but inside, it's loud, hot, and rowdy. Welcome to the Thunderdome. We're broadcasting live from Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. The fans are wearing parkas and shorts, ready for the carnage to begin. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Terra Bay Mutineers battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim. I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. And he throws that one to the sidelines. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the manager. Oh, with the brutal hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The Royd Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampage. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. You know, you gotta put the buzz on the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss it. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And they call it ginormous dirty trick. Think so big that the last time he saw him. And that's another pick. Man, and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Good game for Tyler. I 
And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And that's another turnover for the deep pal. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. One speed, and he's rumbling into the battle. Trim your nostril hairs once and for all. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with eyeball. I take all you new out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they yeah. not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a supersonic missile to his... Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. And Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. Yeah, I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. I'm gonna say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. And with another pick, the QB says, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Oh. <laughs> 
Second down and long. Freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close though. Yep. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and six. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. You know, in the pre-apocalypse, they would flag this kind of thing. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third and two. Hunter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm cream. The cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Boom! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. What a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you... Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Second down in a lot. And he's off to the races. He's at the ten. It's a touchdown. Shake your money, make a big man. Get 
And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Come on, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. It's always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. What is this, 80s wrestling? The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Just settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, the 
unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And then Catch will give them a first down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and walk. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Finally, bricks his bowels. He is loose and hitting. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts into the MFL grim? No, nah, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> he could go all the way. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. First down! This guy just left. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up second and one. And then to first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? I know I just said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> 
And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the Zeitman. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Bloody foot. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. First and two. Oh, the punishing hit. The quarterback goes down. <laughs> Second and three. Oh, man, what a... And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those power and cream like a haiku. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First down and six. Town USA population. This guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And it's first and ten. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. Second down and ten. in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Great shoestring tackle. The offense is running low on receivers. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and seven. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. 
And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the defense calls for that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Apparently the punter for the day is being played by my kid's sister. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he... Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. trick the offense is down to their final receiver they'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game uh, and if they lose him will they have to forfeit uh, talk about pressure i'm gonna have to take the value before this one ends hey call it out on me and it's first and ten He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. The Purple Mutant Eaters were devoured by the opposition today and lose this game by forfeit. They battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.